Why it's getting harder. It's getting harder. It's getting tougher. Every day is tougher. Um, but, but hey, everyone! Thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away. We'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs, families and friends, rest in peace. Before we start, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Patty Yasutaka was an accomplished American actress best known for her role as Nurse Alyssa Ogawa in Star Trek The Next Generation and its subsequent films. Sadly passed away at the age of 70. Yasutake began her acting career in the 1980s, making appearances in various television series and films. Her portrayal of Nurse Ogawa, a recurring character in the Star Trek universe, has earned her a dedicated fan base. Beyond Star Trek, Yasutake has guest starred in popular TV shows such as L.A. Law, Chicago Hope, and Bones. Her film credits include roles in Drop Dead Gorgeous and Come See the Paradise. Known for her versatility and engaging screen presence, Yasutake has made significant contributions to the representation of Asian American actors in Hollywood. Throughout her career, she has remained active in the industry, continuing to take on diverse and challenging roles. Billy Bean was a former professional baseball player and a prominent advocate for LGBTQ plus inclusion in sports. Passed away at his home in New York City on August 6, 2024, at the age of 60. Bean played in Major League Baseball as an outfielder for the Detroit Tigers, Los Angeles Dodgers, and San Diego Padres from 1987 to 1995. His career included notable moments on the field, but it was his life after baseball that brought him significant recognition. In 1999, Bean came out as gay, becoming one of the few former MLB players to do so. This revelation marked the beginning of his advocacy work. In 2014, MLB appointed Bean as its first ambassador for inclusion, a role in which he works to promote diversity and inclusion within the sport. Bean's efforts have been instrumental in fostering a more accepting and inclusive environment in professional baseball. He continues to inspire many with his commitment to equality and his dedication to the game. Jay Cantor was a prominent American talent agent and film producer who made significant contributions to Hollywood. Passed away at his home in Beverly Hills, California on August 6, 2024, at the age of 97. He began his career at the William Morris Agency, where he became known for his keen eye for talent and his ability to nurture careers. Transitioning to film production, Cantor joined MCA and later Universal Pictures. He is also known for his biographical works, such as Grace Kelly, The American Princess, 1987, Brando, 2007, and Marlon Brando, an actor named Desire, 2014. His influence extended beyond production as he helped shape the careers of many actors and was deeply involved in the business side of the industry. Cantor's legacy in Hollywood is marked by his dedication to his clients and his significant impact on the film industry, leaving an indelible mark on both talent management and movie production. Dwayne Thomas was a former professional American football player known for his dynamic career as a running back in the NFL. Drafted by the Dallas Cowboys in the first round of the 1970 NFL Draft, Thomas quickly showcased his talent, helping the team secure a victory in Super Bowl VI. Passed away at the age of 77. Despite his on-field success, Thomas was known for his enigmatic and often controversial demeanor, which led to conflicts with team management. In 1972, Thomas was traded to the San Diego Chargers and later played for the Washington Redskins. His career, though marked by brilliant performances, was relatively short due to his contentious relationship with the NFL and its structures. Thomas's legacy in football is characterized by his exceptional skills 
and the profound impact he had during his brief but memorable career. Despite the controversies, his contributions to the Cowboys' early 1970s dominance remain significant in NFL history. Patrice Lafon was a renowned French television presenter, actor, and producer. Sadly passed away at the age of 84, he began his career in the entertainment industry in the 1960s, initially gaining fame as a TV host. Lafon is best known for presenting popular French game shows such as Des Chiffres et des Lettres from 1972 to 1989 and Fort Boyard from 1990 to 1999. His charismatic hosting style and engaging personality made these shows staples of French television. In addition to his television work, Lafont has acted in several films and theater productions, showcasing his versatility as a performer. He has also ventured into production, contributing to the success of various TV programs. Over his decades-long career, Lafont has become a beloved figure in French media, celebrated for his enduring contributions to entertainment and his ability to connect with audiences. Esther Terre Blanche was a notable actress best known for her role as Gillian Andrassy on the popular American soap opera All My Children, sadly passed away at the age of 51. Terre Blanche began her career in South Africa, winning the Miss Teen South Africa pageant in 1988, which opened doors to modeling and acting. She gained national fame on the South African TV series A Goalie, Place of Gold, before moving to the United States. In 1997, she joined the cast of All My Children, where she portrayed Gillian Andrashi until 2001. Her performance earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. After leaving the show, Ter Blanche took a break from acting but made a brief return to All My Children in 2011. Throughout her career, Ter Blanche has been admired for her talent and charisma, making significant contributions to both South African and American television. Bob Newhart was a legendary American comedian and actor renowned for his distinctive deadpan delivery and stammering style passed away from complications of several short illnesses at the age of 94. He gained widespread fame in the early 1960s with his comedy album The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which became the first comedy album to reach number one on the Billboard charts and won a Grammy Award for Album of the Year. Newhart's success in stand-up comedy led to a prolific television career. He starred in the hit sitcom The Bob Newhart Show, 1972-1978, where he played a psychologist, and later, Newhart, 1982-1990, where he portrayed an innkeeper in Vermont. Both shows were critically acclaimed and cemented his status as a television icon. In addition to television, Newhart appeared in numerous films, including Catch-22, 1970, and Elf, 2003. His career spans over six decades, earning him numerous accolades, including an Emmy Award and a Peabody Award, for his timeless contributions to comedy and entertainment. Jerry Miller was a celebrated American musician and songwriter, best known as the lead guitarist for the rock band Moby Grape, sadly passed away at the age of 81. Formed in the mid-1960s, Moby Grape quickly became a seminal group in the San Francisco music scene, blending rock, blues, and country influences. Miller's innovative guitar work and songwriting were central to the band's success, particularly on their critically acclaimed debut album, Moby Grape, 1967. Before joining Moby Grape, Miller played with several bands, honing his skills and gaining a reputation as a talented guitarist. Despite internal struggles and management issues that plagued Moby Grape, Miller continued to make music, both with the band and as a solo artist. His contributions to the band's classic tracks, such as Hey Grandma and 805, showcase his exceptional talent and influence. Miller's enduring impact on rock music is evident, and he remains a revered figure in the genre. 
Sheila Jackson Lee was a prominent American politician serving as the U.S. Representative for Texas's 18th Congressional District since 1995. A member of the Democratic Party, she is known for her strong advocacy on civil rights, social justice, and health care reform. Passed away at the age of 74, Jackson Lee earned her undergraduate degree from Yale University and her law degree from the University of Virginia. Her political career began in Houston, where she served as an at-large member of the city council from 1990 to 1994. In Congress, she has been an influential member of the House Judiciary Committee and the Homeland Security Committee. Known for her passionate speeches and legislative initiatives, Jackson Lee has championed issues such as immigration reform, disaster relief, and voting rights. Throughout her career, she has been a vocal advocate for her constituents and has earned a reputation as a dedicated public servant committed to equality and justice. Wayne Kramer was an influential American guitarist, singer, and songwriter, best known as a founding member of the proto-punk band MC5, passed away at the age of 75. Formed in the mid-1960s, MC5 gained notoriety for their high-energy performances and revolutionary political lyrics. Their debut album, Kick Out the Jams, 1969, became an anthem for the counterculture movement and solidified Kramer's place in rock history. Kramer's career faced challenges when MC5 disbanded in 1972, and he subsequently served a prison sentence for drug offenses. However, he made a remarkable comeback, focusing on solo work and collaborations. His solo albums, such as The Hard Stuff, 1995, received critical acclaim for their raw and powerful sound. Beyond music, Kramer has been an advocate for prison reform, co-founding the nonprofit organization Jail Guitar Doors USA, which provides musical instruments to inmates. His enduring influence on punk rock and his commitment to social causes make him a revered figure in music and activism. Donald Sutherland was a distinguished Canadian actor known for his versatile performances across a variety of genres. Born on July 17, 1935, he gained prominence in the 1960s with roles in films like The Dirty Dozen, 1967, and MASH, 1970. Sutherland's career spans over five decades, during which he has appeared in more than 200 films and television shows. Notable performances include his roles in Clute, 1971, Don't Look Now, 1973, and Ordinary People, 1980. He also portrayed President Snow in The Hunger Games series, 2012-2015, introducing him to a new generation of fans. Sutherland has received numerous accolades, including an honorary Oscar in 2017, recognizing his contribution to cinema. His ability to imbue characters with depth and nuance has made him one of the most respected and enduring actors in Hollywood. Passed away at the age of 88. Michael J. Fox was a Canadian and American activist and retired actor, beginning his career as a child actor in the 1970s. The beloved actor known for his roles in Back to the Future and Family Ties has recently been the subject of death rumors. However, these rumors are false. Fox, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1991, has been open about his health struggles, but remains active in advocacy and public appearances. His foundation, the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, continues to make significant strides in the fight against the disease. Despite the challenges posed by his condition, Fox's spirit and dedication to his work and causes remain unwavering.